Welcome back everyone. On today's episode of Rod Knock Ranch, we're back on the 65 Nova. She's got a rough idle and we're going to try and work that out. Ah oh, man, Daniel, today we are going to switch out coil. Got a rough idle and uh, we're going to see if that makes it Better or worse or better, or worse. Dang old Mises got in here. Why does it smell like gas? What in the world? It's one of those. I made a flathead screwdriver. I made a flathead screwdriver. I got one. Here we go. All right. Well, come out. Uh, nope. Gotta be a little looser. I guess I, you know, could move all this stuff, but that would make it too easy. So I'm not gonna do that. And uh, just fight with it all for 47 years. Eh. This is the original freaking coil. Watch this fixes it. Oh, that was a short episode. <laughs> <laughs> The other best part about this is that uh, all these wires are red. So I'm definitely not gonna screw this up and hook it up wrong and blow up the coil in my face. None of that will, you know, happen. Not one part of that. God, and the, it's bigger. God bless America. After all this, I think I'm gonna have to take this out. You know, if I would have just taken this out originally, like I know most of you would have done, probably not, then this would have been a five minute job like it's supposed to. But no, I had to be stubborn and try to put it in there without taking it out. Working on it by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course it's rubbing on the block. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, on today's episode of Raw Dark Ranch, watching a dummy fight with a distributor and coil. Who will win? Find out today. Where'd my screw go? <laughs> Sorry, I lost my screw. <laughs> uh. If you keep talking to yourself, people are gonna think you're crazy. I am talking to the camera, good sir. You know that screw I said I wasn't gonna lose? Yeah. Lost it. <laughs> ah found it excuse my heavy breathing i'm fat if i sit back and laugh at myself my life is always fun all right and i provide myself a lot of material so here we are this screw's going nowhere it's just spinning i'm sure of it let's just see if that works for now how about that, that that's what i'm that's what we're gonna go for <sighs> hope for the best plan for the worst that's what my paw paw always said. I'm sure all the dirt that I put in there will definitely help it run better. <laughs> Let me know if you see anything while I go turn the car on. I'm gonna need you guys to yell for smoke. <laughs>
way down the carburetor to see if they can do anything. I mean, look, it's literally a three-eighths line, a half-inch line feeding directly to the intake. Let's take that off and plug that. <laughs> See if it gets better. Yeah, it will. I guarantee it. <laughs> you can get it off. How'd that feel? Pretty good. Yeah. Put this here and plug that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. It's sucking oil directly out of the engine and burning it. I don't want that. That's dumb. There we go. Fire it up. <laughs> I think it's good enough. I mean, yeah. I think it's perfect. It, if as long as it runs, you yeah. know, I'm good with it. So I switched out that. It may be the distributor, but I, I doubt it. I mean, what do you think the chances are? It's the distributor or just tired? It's just tired. Yeah. Well, join me for a little road trip today. We're taking James's Nova to his house. It's finally leaving the barn, getting out of the mouse infested, dusty, gnarly barn. So I'm gonna pull this thing out. We're gonna get it hosed off and hit the road. All right, she's all clean. I'm gonna throw some air in the tires real quick and I think we're ready to go. It's got gas, got oil. I think we're, we're gonna make it. We got about a uh, 45 minute drive or so. This is really the first time I've driven this thing in traffic, or really much at all. I test drove the thing the other night for James after I rebuilt the carburetor, and uh, that was like a two mile drive, so I gotta say, I am jealous of this car. It drives so well, it feels like a new car, really. It doesn't feel like I'm driving something from 1965. It's pretty incredible. It's got a little bit of front end work to do on the thing, and uh, I think he's got these brakes for the thing as well, so we'll look out for that. But uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. Great, great little car. All right, now we are approaching the moment of truth. We've got a real steep hill in between uh, James and the ranch. And uh, I personally have killed quite a few cars going over it. So uh, we're just gonna take this easy. They just opened up a slow lane, which is uh, fantastic for our case. We're just gonna put over this thing. Here we go. I kind of think we're gonna pass this little car here. He's really going slow. I wanna give it a little bit more juice than that going up the hill. Yeah, this thing just cruises. No problem. I didn't even need to get in the truck lane. Just barely touching the throttle too. We're probably doing 50 right now. See, this car is way too good. What a nice day to take a drive in an old car. I mean, look at this. All right, we are almost to James's house. We are in the neighborhood. So I say we made it. This car, uh, you know what? I'm glad it's out of my barn. 
and I'll tell you why. This thing's way too good to be sitting amongst all of my garbage. Um, this thing's way too good to be sitting. This thing needs to be driven like every day. This car's fantastic. I'm uh, thoroughly impressed with it. This is a very, uh, very good purchase. James, talking to you. Anyways, next thing you're gonna see is uh, probably James standing in his driveway all smiley and stuff. We have arrived. What, are you filming? Maybe. What's up, man? Hey. Hey, how was the drive? <laughs> this thing, I was just telling the camera yeah. that I'm glad it's out of my barn. Why? Because it's way too good to be sitting amongst all <laughs> my know, garbage. Right? <laughs> I was it's like, this so thing good. needs to be driven, dude, yeah. like every day. It's got a little misfire, but it like this thing's great yeah it pulled over kirker no problem no problem dude yeah. like that's awesome. like this just cruise just cruise 55 yeah. miles an hour that's great no problem that's great yeah this thing is a peach i like the the speaker on there you get yeah, some I've got, rolling. yeah i've got yeah. well barely because i was filming yeah. the whole time <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah this thing's great well i guess that's it for this short little episode this might end up being an instagram reel we'll see i don't know yeah but james has his car home so uh Every time you see a video from now on and you see James's Honda in the background at the ranch, please uh, yell at him in the comments because he's supposed to be driving this to the ranch now. It'll happen. Yeah. At least once. Anyways, hit the like button, the comment, do those, and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Gosh dang it.